The carnivore diet has been growing in popularity, particularly being seen as a diet for people with autoimmune conditions. This way of eating gained huge publicity when Jordan Peterson and his daughter Michaela talked about the health improvements she saw on her diet of beef, salt and water. Now this is probably the most extreme elimination diet there is, as it removes many food sensitivities people may react to. And whilst there may be some benefits in the short term, there are some huge concerns when it comes to the long-term effects of this way of eating. Here's what you can eat on a carnivore diet. This is a really concerning diet when we have huge amounts of data now showing that diets high in red and processed meats are linked to an increased risk of cancer and all-cause mortality. The carnivore diet also eliminates highly nutritious foods like fruits, vegetables, legumes and whole grains, all of which contain beneficial vitamins and minerals, which may lead to serious deficiencies in many nutrients. So now let's hear from medical doctor Dr Brooke Goldner, who specialises in autoimmune diseases, as she talks about the carnivore diet. Carnivore diet. So why could some people get benefits from eating nothing but meat? Well, if they were someone who was eating meat and processed foods and dairy, and they switched to eating only meat without the processed foods and dairy, they actually made a net improvement. Now, the problem is we got to extrapolate out now long-term health, you know, things like heart disease, cancer. I, I was invited on Fox News to talk to a keto doctor and he's using it for diabetes and weight loss. He was accusing me of not being compassionate to people who need to lose weight because, you know, that's the best way to lose weight. And I said, there's a lot of ways to lose weight while increasing your risk of heart disease and cancer. You could try cigarettes. You know, sometimes something can be good for one thing, even temporarily, but not good overall. I actually just saw someone today. She was told by her doctor to do keto for her diabetes and her insulin resistance got way worse and she developed psoriatic arthritis. So now she's seeing me to undo all of that, right? I think people can have a temporary improvement because they reduce some of the other issues. But on the other side, they are driving their inflammatory pathway up through the omega-6 pathway and they are completely becoming malnourished. Vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients, all of that stuff comes from plants. And so they are becoming extremely malnourished. So I'll give you an example really quickly. So when they did a study looking at COVID and diets, right? This was done at the beginning of the pandemic. We had no treatments. We had no vaccines. They looked at doctors and nurses on the front line of the pandemic and what they were eating and whether or not they got COVID, which was a really exciting study, right? And what they found is any doctor or nurse who identified as plant-based in some way, they had a 70% lower rate of moderate to severe COVID, 70, 70%. Then they looked at doctors and nurses that identified as high protein, low carb. They had a 47% increase in moderate to severe COVID. What they said at the end of that study was, we think it's nutrients. People who are eating high meat diets, maybe it's just that they're malnourished. What they didn't consider, though, was there was a middle group, pescatarians. They don't eat dairy. They eat a lot of plants, but some fish. Pescatarians had around a 50% decrease in COVID compared to regular folks. Better than the average, but 20% worse than plant eaters. So what they didn't consider is it's not just that we're getting more nutrition, but any addition of any animal product directly harms the immune system. So just adding fish, which some people think is healthy, reduce their protection from COVID. Taking out all the plants and eating a high protein diet that increased their risk of moderate to severe COVID and death by 50% almost. It showed us another way in which your immune system is affected by food. If you want to kill the immune system and weaken the body, high meat diets are the way to go. If you want to be nourished and healthy, you've got to stick with the plants. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.